All the lights off and that day. Huh? All the lights, right? Uh, yeah. EA Sports. It's in the game. It's the NFL on EA Sports as we are in the inner harbor of Baltimore at M&T Bank Stadium. The two teams emerging from their respective tunnels a minute ago to the approval of this Baltimore crowd. They're all set as their Ravens will match up with the Atlanta Falcons. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. Cordero Patterson to return Mary, it right Mary. in the end zone. Billy G, Billy G. Kick the yard, the yard. Thank you for all this guys. That was just real. Good, Charles. Yeah. The former Gamecock here, this is Mike Davis. And he'll be up in there at the 28th. It matter. Just a three-yard game there. Give him three there on the first play of the game, but it's second down. <laughs> From the shotgun, Ryan flushed out right. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. And him running the football is not something that defense has spent a lot of time preparing for. But this guy has a survival instinct and a knack for knowing when exactly to do it. And Davis, he's not going to get there. Unable to make it to the yellow line. They stop him short. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. They'll run with Davis. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. He's got his pass catching tight end. That's Pitts. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. 25 yards there on the catch and run. On first and 10, it's Ryan. Now he's going to throw it deep to the other side of the field. Touchdown! Kyle Pitts, 40 yards! And the Falcons are on the board first on the road here in Baltimore. It's never any fun, Brandon, when you're the defensive team and the first drive of the game, you give up a touchdown. The key is not to get down. Make those adjustments and come back for your next series with the intent of shutting them down. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. First carry now for Gus Edwards. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. The tackle there by Fabian Moreau. Throwing on second and eight. Jackson escaping the pressure right. 
and he's got his receiver. That's Sammy Watkins. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. That goes for a gain of 31. Every defensive staff harps on limiting explosive plays. <laughs> Job not so well done there. Yeah, they talk about it all the time. A lot harder to stop, though, isn't it? And when you think of an explosive play, most offensive staffs define them as passes of 20 or more yards and runs of 15 or more yards. They went zooming <coughs> that number there. So the line of scrimmage all the way up to midfield now as they've got it first and 10. From midfield now, here's Jackson. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good throw there, nearly an opening drive, INT. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Second and 10. Here's Jackson to throw, eluding the pressure right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. In for the sack, Deion Jones. On third down, Jackson dancing to his left. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. Well, instead of <laughs> he just down, got rough in the passer. Be first down, roughing the passer. Coaches love their defenses <laughs> to be aggressive, but they want them to be smart as well. Have to leave the quarterback alone at a certain point. A bad time for a roughing penalty, and they get the gift of a first and ten. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards, and he'll be taken down at the 33, a pickup of about four. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Jackson now. First down and more for Jackson. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Partner, it's often the man coverage is easier for a quarterback to run against. You get your receivers going downfield. Those guys are staying with them, and oftentimes they have their back to the quarterback, which opens up a lot of space and room, and they don't even know that he's taken off with it. What a big-time pickup on that play. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. Second down and goal. Jackson steps away to his left. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Second quarter now from Baltimore. It's the Ravens in possession. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. <coughs> Third and goal, Jackson. They'll roll him out right. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson punching it in from a yard away. And the Ravens are an extra point away from tying the football game. John Harbaugh thought about it, and now his guys are going to go for the two-point conversion. Jackson here, he's going to look to throw. Rolling to his right. And it's caught. He's got it. So they go for two. They convert, and along with it, they'll take an 8-7 lead. Boy, I guess they're going to keep trying to put the pedal to the metal here. They're going to try an onside kick. And they've got it. They recovered it. But hang on now, though. There's a penalty flag down. So they hit the ball before it went 10 yards. I know that's tough, but you got to stay disciplined. It is difficult because you're so eager to go get the football. It's that type of a play, but you're exactly right. You have to have the discipline to let it go 10 first. Well, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Play action. 
action for Davis. Now Ryan. He'll buy some time right. Man open. That's Calvin Ridley. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. 23 yards the pick up there. Ryan. That's the tight end, Hurst, with it. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Seven yards the pick up there. On second down, Davis. This is and he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Mike Davis, an 18-yard touchdown run. And the Falcons have retaken the lead. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And that makes this a 14-8 ball game. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. Do you think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. And the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn it into a play action, and throw one deep. Here's second and ten. Off the play fake. Here's Jackson. And this is going to be pulled in by the tight end Andrews. The 20. 10. And all the way in for the Ravens touchdown. Well, for a tight end, he can definitely motor, and he shows up the wheels there after the catch as he's able to shake free. Yeah, normally when you talk about tight ends, you immediately begin talking about them rumbling down the field, but to me, he was pretty well gliding downfield there. Very athletic for a big man, and he takes this one all the way to pay dirt. And the next-gen stats show us the tale of how much yardage he was able to tack on after the catch. Boy, I guess they're going to keep trying to put the pedal to the metal here. They're going to try an onside kick. Oh, the Ravens say they have it. They do have it. Well, they just scored. They got the lead, and they decide to keep their foot on the accelerator, so to speak. Scouting, scouting, scouting. They had to have seen something in their preparation for this game that told them in this situation, if they get the look they like, let's go ahead and go for it anyway. They like being bold. And look at this, they come right back with a big shot downfield. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That one goes for 30 yards. <coughs> From the gun, they go to Edwards. <laughs> He's got the first down inside the 10. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Gus Edwards, 24 yards. And the Ravens are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Tucker able to connect on the extra point. And that makes this a nine-point game. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. On the return, here's a dangerous Cordero Patterson. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. A 
About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And Charles Wade touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides of this thing. It's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match in a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. Now he's going to throw deep right side. And that is intercepted. Or was it? Wait, they'll say no. No interception. He did not keep the feet in bounds, apparently. So that's just going to be an incompletion. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Now it's Ryan. And he can't escape the pressure. Ryan goes down. Calais Campbell in there to take him down on what will take us to the two-minute warning. So the sack pushes him back, and now third and long for Ryan and the Falcons. Ryan going to give this to Davis, and he'll get this one up to the 26. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. They'll try and throw for it with Ryan. He's going to air one out. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off here by Jimmy Smith. So they try to take the deep shot there, but this defense...